guys. So I know it's been a while since I last posted, but we've got a Lambretta in an O'Neill motocross theme. Get ready because this has had so many tears, tantrums, paddies, you name it. Oh, it's drove me up the wall, but the end result is absolutely unreal. Get ready. So the idea for the design came from the racing gear for the O'Neill motocross races. We took some different elements from the racing gear and the customer got a pre-made vinyl design made up because he was going to get this wrapped. We took different elements, pieced them together, added some dot work, a bit of shading, threw in some silver leaf and came up with this overall design. So now you've seen what it's going to look like. Let's get on to the process. Now bear in mind there is going to be a lot of trial and error in this scooter because it's unlike anything I've ever done before. I'm used to your portraits, your kind of realism kind of work. This is just a whole different ball game altogether. But I'm up for the challenge, so let's go. My first thought for getting this down was I've got some Posca pens. Now these are kind of paint pens really you can just go over the metal color it in as if you were using a felt tip the paint lays flat and it looks like it's being airbrushed so i started the process and i thought oh my lord this is gonna take forever as you can see each individual part and you can see how many different sections there are on this panel alone bear in mind i've got to do the full scooter so safe to say this just wasn't working so that panel, I had to keep it going. I had to see it through. But the next panel, I thought I'm not doing that again. So I went back to my normal method, stick to what I know, blow the white base down first. So much easier. Once the white base is down, I've then gone over the top of it with my stencil as I usually do. But this time, using the Posca pens to only outline and use it to colour in the black parts of the design... This means then that I can go in with the colour parts with my airbrush and the process will be a lot quicker. Using this method definitely seems like the better option. This panel's been so much easier than the first one. Phew, thank God they're done. Right, next up we're going to do the O'Neill lettering. I'm going to use my Brother Scan and Cut machine. This plots out the writing so it's perfect and exactly as it needs to be in the right font. Then we're going to go with some silver leaf. Now, don't judge me on this because I am still new at it. I'm still learning, okay? Let's see how it goes. to wait to the end to see the results of that one now so we've done the leg shield front we've done the side panels we've done the horn cast we've done the headset we've done the toolbox now it's time for the runners and the inside of the leg shield now these are the effect is like lightning shot them out shot a hole through the scooter ripped it open and you've got the O'Neill underneath so we'll see that and it's time for the lacquer stage after that so stay tuned for this part, I've already got my paint and my patterns down. I just wanted to show you how I get the shading and give it a bit of depth to make it look like it's coming through the scooter. So for the flatter parts, I use my clear vinyl and lightly blow around the edges with some black paint. For the more difficult curved parts, I cut it out of masking tape and do the same again. 
But that's enough of me waffling for now, because get ready, it's the clear court time. I'm going to let Jamie do his thing. That's it guys, D-Day, he's on his way, he hasn't seen it the whole way through, I am absolutely babbing myself, he wanted it to be a surprise. Oh, I hope he likes it, wish me luck! Go on Jamie. Go on Jamie. Are you shitting me? <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. I'll tell you what, I didn't expect this. Is that a good thing? <laughs> yeah. Sparkles like on oh, that light, it's that it just. If he's not happy, he's getting drunk. Oh. <laughs> That's unbelievable, Jim. Honestly, it really is. <sighs> A lot of tears and tantrums. <laughs> We're working. Oh, mate, it's proper cool, isn't it? There's nothing of them about, is there, mate? <coughs> it's a great tunnel, I'm going to get it. Sheeting out. What's it yourself, mate? That'll do. <laughs> That'll, <laughs> That'll do. Are we happy? Yeah. I, 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 I can't, honestly, it's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. guys happy customer thank god if you want to see more of these videos press like and subscribe to the channel i've got another one coming soon stay tuned